What's up guys? My name is Shelby Bettencourt and welcome to my YouTube. So I'm going to show you how to get this fun, flirty, wavy hair look with only three products. So let's get to it. Before we get started, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a video. I am going to put a link at the bottom of this on how to get them. The first products that I want to talk about is the Miracle Hair Treatment. This is all-in-one product. If you are stuck on an island and you can only bring one product with you, this would be your product. It does many different things, but my top priorities for blonde hair specifically is that it has UVA and UVB protectant. It is strengthening on the hair and it protects against any type of heat. So with this one product you are set. Our second product is going to be the Keeping My Curl Defining Cream. It pairs perfectly with the Miracle Hair Treatment because it softens this hold just a little bit. So you don't need to put a lot of this and it will never ever ever be crunchy or like crispy because we're not trying to go back to 2008. You know what I'm talking about. With your hair, if you'd go like this, it would crack. I had that hair. I loved that hair. My hair was awesome. But that hair is not in today. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. I want to know. I want to hear because that shit was awesome. And that was in my prime when I was in hair school. And I was like, ooh, I got that look. I got that cr that crunch. Like, my hair is not moving anywhere. Come at me, when Come at me. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'm going a little bit overboard. And my third product is the Sea Salt Texture Spray. This spray is a great way to add volume to your hair, especially for like this front piece. Like I love, I love that. I love having my hair be a little bit voluminous right there. I feel like it makes my hair not look wet. So you can, this is safe to put onto your roots and spray it throughout your ends. This will give you that volume that you want without that annoying crunch because we're avoiding that 2008 hair. So before we start putting in product, I want to make sure that you have prepped your hair with a hydrating shampoo and conditioner. The one I used was the Give Me Moisture from Eleven Australia. I use both their hydrating shampoo and conditioner. When you're in the shower and you have conditioner in your hair, that is the time for you to be brushing out your hair. I always say take a wet brush or a wide tooth comb and just brush it out with the conditioner in it then rinse your conditioner and then do not brush after that. Leave your hair as is. We're going to be using the Miracle Hair Treatment. You're going to spray about three to four spritz on each side of your head. You want to put your head to the side and then the other side. And then gently crunch it in. The second product that you're going to be using is the Keep My Curl Defining Cream. I'm gonna put about that much. The reason why I choose about this much is because I don't, I have a lot of hair, but I can always add on to this. So I'd rather start out with a smaller dollop of cream than work more product into my hair as needed. That way I'm not wasting product. So you're gonna emulsify it in your hands. And then I like to kind of take my hair like this and then clump it together and then move the product down and then keep on separating it like that. I even flip my head and will scrunch from underneath, which it reminds me. Hold on one second. Forgot this. Now we're ready. Okay, this is what you're gonna want. So what I did is I took an old t-shirt and I made it into a crop top and I recycled the bottom half. Now this is my curling cotton t-shirt. <laughs> or what used to be. <laughs> A t-shirt. It's now just a curling rag. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anywho. Wow. I'm getting so distracted by this. I like to just shake up my roots and you're gonna scrunch. And flip. <laughs> and scrunch. It, it reminds me of uh, Legally Blonde when she's like, and bend and snap. <laughs> oh, I love that movie. Alright. Sea Salt Texture Spray from Eleven. If you do lack volume, you can spray this at your fingertips and then just like pinch your roots and let that dry. You can even like take like little clips and pinch it in between where you part your hair and then that will give you more volume. 
product is your friend. So don't get scared of product because this isn't gonna leave your hair oily. So this is gonna be something that's gonna give you pull and volume if you want it. That control of it not being crunchy. Like 12 sprays total. So if you feel like you're gonna do four on that side, four on this side, a little bit four everywhere else, then you can do that. Take your little cotton rag. trying to squeeze out the water and hold in that product. I don't know if it's really holding in the product or having the product go to waste, <laughs> but it works for me and there are no rules, so whatever. The main reason why I don't like doing this with my hands is the oils from your hands will break down product. So it will cause more frizz and something like this that's so simple is something that really changes the game. So remember that ladies, when you're touching your hair, you're just breaking down all that product that you have in your hair and that's why your hair is getting frizzy. I love those little spirals. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> One thing that I found with having curly hair, especially blonde curly hair, is that my curls are very temperamental. There are some days that they look bomb and they sit the exact same way that I want them to and then there are days that they totally don't, they're not working for me. What was really key in figuring out what products to use was knowing what didn't work for my hair. For example, oil. Oil doesn't work with my hair. If I put in any type of like leave-in with an oil in it or like a smoothing oil or a Moroccan oil, whatever, it just weighs my hair down. And for years, I was putting oil in my hair. One day, I was explaining my hair care routine to one of my hairdresser friends, and she was like, why are you putting oil in your hair if you feel like your hair is flat? <laughs> Duh. Know what doesn't work out for you. So try out different products and comment below, what are you using on your hair that works for you and what doesn't work for you? This next step is optional. I'm gonna do it just so like, I don't have to wait here until my hair air dries so you can see it. So I'm gonna use a diffuser on my hair. For those of you who don't know what a diffuser is, a diffuser is that little claw thing that goes on the end of your blow dryer. Yeah, that, don't throw that away <laughs> if you want to try this, this is awesome. And they have like some that are like a hand and some that are like a soft, but I like the one that has like all the little like spidey prongs. The main rule with this is high heat, low blow. You don't get as much air coming through, so it's not going to make your hair frizzy. And then you have the heat, which is the what molds your hair. If heat didn't mold your hair, then our curling irons would be cold. Got it. Notice how I turn it off and then bring it back up on my hair and then turn it back on. Never ever ever have the blow dryer on when you're pushing it up on the hair. You want the blow dryer off. You mold the hair or dry the hair in that shape and then you turn it off and you release the hair. That way it cools. That totally makes sense. It's like a curling iron. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I just want to remind you that this is almost as much work as me straightening my hair. But it, I love this look and this is my natural hair, so why not rock it? It's what no one else has. Anyone can have straight hair, but no one has your texture, so love your curls. Oh, I should do that, it should be a thing. And there you have it. Look at these curls. Till next time.